if you want to upgrade your Visual Studio Code game and become a more productive developer, you have to install these Visual Studio Code extensions. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from Galaxies.dev and we're diving right into this because we don't want to waste time, we want to upgrade the productivity. First tip is add something to use snippets. This is actually not just one extension, but an extension for pretty much every language or framework they're using. For example, here's one for React Native snippets. And the great thing about snippets is you just create new files like this, let's say whatever details screen.tsx, and then you go ahead, React Native, functional export, boom, and that page is done. And this works for pretty much everything. What are you using? Uh, React, Angular, or whether you're using Flutter snippets. So Flutter works great as well. New file, settings, page, dot, dart, and then Flutter stateful widget. And I got my widget completely mapped out. If you need also more, you can just do the Flutter import. And then I have a full Flutter page ready in sec. So you definitely want to use some sort of snippets extension for your preferred language or framework. Extension number two you want to use is Copilot. Yes, you need the power of AI right in Visual Studio Code. You might have to check if your company allows using it, but if you are allowed, you should definitely use it. It can really greatly simplify your work. You just create stuff like load files and then it prints out everything thing you need. The code might not always be right, but it's usually a lot faster using GitHub Copilot than just typing all the boilerplate code by hand. If you're doing some kind of state, if you're doing like mapping about files, it is just so much faster in terms of the code it gives you and prints out and it's just unbelievable helpful to move faster with your code. Extension number three is called Live Server. 33 million downloads and you're gonna have to use it, especially if you're working with static HTML files, CSS and JavaScript because with Live Server, in your project, at any point, you can just right click and say open with live server and it will immediately bring up a preview of your application. So this is probably not the most spectacular application, but it is an instant preview. And you also get a little icon at the bottom of Visual Studio Code showing you where your app is currently running and you can just hit that at any time, go live, it will spin up a server and directly serve the root of your uh, folder right on a simple HTTP server. Extension number four is called Markdown Preview Enhance and this is really helpful if you're working a lot with markdown files could be block files could be documentation could be anything else because with markdown preview what you get is you can easily get into any markdown file and by the way if you're using mdx you should certainly also install something for markdown x support and then you can open enhanced preview and this will directly open your preview of the markdown file right next to the document you're currently writing extension number five is called import cost and you've been asking about this before this is a very interesting extension which gives you automatically the import cost of different packages right at the top of your application so if you're concerned about the bundle size of your application your web application or whatever you're building this is really helpful as it will show you the size and you can directly make changes like okay I probably don't need the whole rxjs package maybe I just need this from operators and immediately we have saved 40 kilobytes of unzipped rxjs library that we actually didn't have to import. Extension number six is called JSON to TypeScript and this will help us to convert JSON objects to TypeScript interfaces really really fast. So let's open up a file and let's say we get back some kind of JSON from an API you just copy over this JSON, you go to your file, you open the command palette, say JSON to TS, convert from clipboard, and boom, immediately I get the interface and I got another interface perfectly aligned for the JSON response that I got. Extension number seven is called pretty TypeScript errors. I just recently discovered this, but it is amazing. Usually if we get some kind of TypeScript errors, especially complicated errors, they are quite boring. But if we enable this extension, we're usually getting a lot better formatted result of the actual problem with great examples and a better code highlighting of the actual problem that we have. Extension number eight is called auto rename tag. This is probably one of the smallest extension, but it's actually really helpful and it does exactly what the name says. It will automatically rename tags. So, if you have some kind of HTML and you're spread out about across very many lines, it's sometimes hard to update everything accordingly. But with this plugin, you just go into one, 
You say this is now a paragraph and it will also automatically update the closing tag, making it really easy to work with HTML and I definitely use it all the time. Extension number nine is called Peacock and this extension helps if you work with a lot of different projects and have many different Visual Studio Code windows open because you can now give this nice little border with a different color and I can now have other projects having other colors and I can just easily switch between them. This is especially helpful if you have like a front end and a back end project. So with this visual clue you can easily switch between the different front end, back end or whatever kind of project and you're making sure that you're never editing some kind of production SQL database while you actually want it to work in development mode. Extension number 10 is called Project Manager and is also helpful if you need to get into different projects. So I've set up different projects on my drive as like favorite projects and now if I want to work on galaxies I can just easily click here and it will open up a new window for this project. Once again making it super easy to quickly open different projects. So if you have many different projects sometimes like old projects you sometimes need to open it takes time to find them on your drive and it's a lot easier if you just have the list here in Visual Studio Code and you can easily get in with your project manager. So these are my favorite 10 Visual Studio Code extensions that I pretty much use on an everyday basis and they really help to save a minute here, a minute there and this can just compound and you can easily save like an hour of your time if you're using the right Visual Studio Code extension. Of course, this is not everything so I hope you can also teach me what your favorite Visual Studio Code extension is. Please leave a link in the comments with the extension or directly a link to the GitHub repository and I will definitely check it out so I can also increase my developer productivity. Because you can now save at least an hour of your time every day after watching this video, as an agreement you hit the subscribe button because this in turn helps me to grow this channel. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share the video with your friends who also need to get better with Visual Studio Code and leave your favorite extension in the comments. So I will catch you in the next one and until then of course happy coding.